Butterflies are attracted to many different kinds of flowers that we plant within our gardens. If you're looking to attract specific butterflies, then you'll need to plant specific types of plants. Butterflies like the monarch are attracted to milkweed, which they use to lay their eggs on. This is a orange sulfur. It's a female, so she's actually green. But sulfur butterflies, skippers, even the fritillary butterflies are attracted to daisies and asters, zinnias, um, and other common flowers around your garden. A rare butterfly that I don't see very often here in California is the buckeye, even though it's supposed to be common. Um, we saw only one this year, and it's feeding off of uh, basil flowers that have gone to seed. Predators in your garden, like this spider, um, will happily make a meal out of butterflies, but for the most part, um, they pretty much leave each other alone. This is a fritillary butterfly. It's midsummer, um, enjoying um, basking in the sun a little bit on this zinnia. So zinnias make really good flowering uh, attractors for butterflies. At the same time, um, this is a caterpillar of a fritillary butterfly, um, a golf fritillary butterfly, and it's feeding on a passion flower, which is poisonous. And the caterpillar ingests the poison or toxin um, into its skin, which then is transferred to the exoskeleton of the adult when it's finished with its metamorphosis. That poison is important because over time birds have learned to leave it alone and it becomes um, a defense mechanism for these beautiful butterflies. Common butterflies throughout the world, these cabbage butterflies, um, <coughs> are really identified by those two black dots that you see. There is another butterfly, it's called a white, a great white and it does not have those markings. Um, and those are kind of interesting to find from time to time. The skipper butterfly shown in this picture is feeding on a flame dahlia. Dahlias also make really great attractors for butterflies. And the skipper family is very wide. There's probably several hundred species of, of skippers um, that range from this, I believe, is a flame skipper, all the way to gray checkerboards. Um, really quite an amazing um, variety of butterflies. They're small, they're fast, and if you're really lucky, they will come sit on your hand. So these are probably the first butterflies you'll see in the spring. Um, very small um, as compared to some of the other butterflies, such as the Gulf fritillary um, monarchs and swallowtails. So overall, um, that's really a great way to attract butterflies. So if you're looking to, to make a garden for butterflies, um, I would really recommend getting a field guide because certain species live in certain areas. And, and you can, um, really identify some of the host flowers for many of these species. Um, but in general, plants like snapdragons, violas, pansies, um, zinnias, dahlias, most of the daisies, um, asters, those all make really good uh, butterfly attracting flowers for your, your garden.